Hello YouTube, this is Perilous Pyth Python here back with another video. And on this video, I don't know if this is open. No. Alright, and in this video, I am going to show you guys how to create a random number generator. Or, in my version, I'm going to uh, make it a locky uh, number generator. So, um, what this is, what this random thing is about, if you import the random library that comes that is automatically installed with Python when you get it. It gives you access to commands like random dot rand int and see as you can see there one to or what it, what you want the numbers to go between. It it pretty much uh generates a random number. And we're gonna need that command uh for this uh for this video. I mean for this code. Alright, so um I'm going to have three more videos right after this. I know I do uh, no more than three videos per day. This is going to be a special video because, not really special, but I'm going to have a fourth video today because I forgot to, well, I didn't forget, but I didn't get a chance to make a video yesterday. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off by creating our function. If you guys don't know, know what a function is, I don't know if I explained it uh, last video. I'm not sure. Oh, also... I forgot to tell you guys, look, I I don't have a new computer. Let me quickly just empty that. I I dual boot booted my computer. I have I Ubuntu Linux installed along with Windows 10 if you guys want to know how to do that. If you guys want to learn how to do that, just ask in the comment section. And I'd rather and um recording on Linux on my Linux version is so much better because it runs so much faster because all of my crap is on uh, my Windows 10 on Windows 10 all right so a function is I don't like I said I don't know if I explained it a function is something where you group like uh, you do DEF or define and then you define uh, and then you name your function you define your function and uh, what's in your function is all this is all the stuff for that specific thing like if we wanted to create something big um, we do, we'd have a main function, and then we had multi, we'd have multiple other functions, uh, that would be controlling everything else. Like, if we, we wanted to create an RPG, we'd have health, we'd, um, we'd have health, we'd create another function, uh, specifically just for health, and, uh, attack damage and everything, if we wanted to create an RPG. So we're gonna start off by defining our main function. And then what we are going to do, we're gonna print your. We're gonna. We're not gonna have like a a, a starting menu uh, because I really don't feel like it, and it wouldn't work really well. So it's better only on games. So your lucky number today is space rand uh, comma rand and and like I showed you before, random dot rand integer. We're going to create a vari variable uh, called rand. We're going to do rand equals random dot rand int. int and we're, we are going to generate a number between 1 and 100. It's really not that complicated. Like I said before, you can pick any number you want uh, between anything. It really doesn't matter. And so your lucky number today is rand. And then we are going to have... Uh, we're gonna. Oh, your lucky number today is Rand. So well, that's pretty much it. We can. I'm gonna add on more, obviously, but that is pretty much it. Oh, we're gonna add one more thing. Like if we just ran this right now, it would work. But then that would just be the end of the of the command prompt. It would just generate a new number. But we. Uh, that's not exactly what we want to happen. Yes, we want it to generate. A new number, but that's not all. We want it to restart every time. So type retry, or let's go with new. Or wait, let's just go type number to generate another number. And we are going to do that. So I'm going to create a constant loop that never ends as long as you keep on typing number. So uh, once it generates your number, you're going to type number again if you want a new number. And that's going to keep on happening. Unless you press exit. Which I will add to. Re if restart is equal 
if restart is equal to number, we want if we want to go back to the main. Uh, so it loops around. So if restart, if someone types in number, this will happen, and then it will go all the way back up here uh, to the start of our function. And that's pretty cool. And we're gonna add another thing. If restart is equal to exit, we want to quit the game. All right, let's run this. As you can see, this is a very simple code. Only 11 lines of code. Obviously, the uh, exit part is optional. Um, but if you don't add an exit, uh, if you don't add an exit command, then this is going to always loop, and the command will never end unless you uh, personally uh, x out. All right, and we are going to run this. I want this. Your lucky number today is 95. So we type in number. As you can see, the, this goes all the way from 1 to 100. So this is pretty cool. See, 99, 14. See? Um, that is pretty cool. And if we type in ex exit, see, uh, even if I press cancel, it's already finished. Also, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Um, that's all there is to it. But I'm sorry this is a little short video, which also makes which which is also why I'm going to create a fourth video that goes along with me not uploading yesterday so I'm gonna create a fourth video and um but my next video is going to be how to create to rock paper scissors shoot you we will compare this 11 lines of code uh, compared 11 lines of code compared to how how much lines of code it takes to create rock paper scissors uh, rock paper scissors or rock, paper, scissors, shoot, whatever you want to call it. Um, when I did it the first time, I had about 50 to 55 lines in between there. So that's kind of crazy. Alright, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And that next video is coming out right after this. See ya.